Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to the episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 19. We are continuing our new Woodshire start from scratch, and uh, we just got our big old giant beautiful cow barn down, and it is time to get us some cows. Um, so let's come over here. Uh, actually, this is the animal dialogue right here. So, uh, I do have an add-on. Uh, it's called Cow Breeds or something, something Cow Breeds, something like that. Um, where it gives you different uh, cow breeds for each one. So instead of just having two different cows, uh, Brahmin and whatever the other one is, just regular cows uh, with different colors, it's got different cow breeds. Now, different different versions of these do different things. Some of these are good for meat cows. For example, Angus are really good meat cows. So they do not produce any milk, They, but they breed faster, and they eat more, and they produce more manure and stuff like that. Holsteins, however, as you can expect, are really good milk producers. Um, they don't breed quite as fast, but, uh, they do pretty good. Um, I think the, uh, Ayrshire might also be milk cows. Like the cheaper ones are less, uh, efficient at it. So, you know, we do, do get a little bit more efficiency, a little bit more goodness out of paying a little bit more, more, if I, if I understand it correctly. Um, I think all the Brahmin are meat or beef cows. Uh, I just don't remember these two. So, but anyway, we're going to go with Holsteins. I think we're going to go with a dairy farm. For now, we might do some Angus in later, but for now, we're going to do some Holsteins, which does limit how many we're going to be able to do. Uh, let's see here. If we did... Um... So that's what? 40? That's going to be 50. I think starting off with 50, it's going to be a little tight on the money. Is it too tight on the money? We might have to start off with 40. So we'll start with 40. And uh, I'm not doing the trailer with them right now. I could, uh, but then I, of course, have to lease the trailer and all that stuff. And it's going to take me, what, four trips to get them all here, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but... It would save me $36,000. You know what? Why not? Let's do the trailer. I wasn't going to, but since we're not going to be starting off with like 200 cows or anything like that, we'll do that. Oh, by the way, I did download a mod called Global Company. It's like a library of like different things that other mods can use. It comes with a couple things itself, but there are a few things in this mod that other things can use. One of the things I did grab that is not part of the mod, but it's a separate thing. It's this little hay dryer thing. That allows us to like dry hay without having to do all the tedding and stuff. Just you know, a little bit of a fish time efficiency uh, type of thing. Um, but then there was also something else. Let's see, the Control G. Uh, if we come up here and what am I looking for? Why is it not? Do I have to do the Q and the E? I guess I do. Um, we do want to activate extended placeable here because this is going to be take the place of that place anywhere mod that I have. But it also has the horse helper. Which, for $300 per horse per day, they'll ride all the horses for us. That's the biggest reason why I went ahead and grabbed that one. So I'll grab it for that and the place anywhere and, of course, that hay thing. So we'll play around with some of that stuff later. There's a lot more to the global company thing. There's a lot of different add-ons you can get for this. I'm probably not going to play with hardly any more of those than what I've, you've already seen. But I do like at least a couple of those things. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get us our trailer. What am I looking for? Animal transports. Um, I mean, if we're not going to do anything else but cows, we might as well go with the thing that's the biggest cows. Although this thing is a really cool looking trailer. All shiny and stuff. But we might as well go with the the more efficient cow thing, I suppose. I mean, it's only two more cows per, to be fair. Change the rim color. Oh, we can make it whatever color we want. Yeah, that looks silly. Honestly, matching the red of the rest of it kind of looks like it would make sense. Although I'm not sure if I'm able to do that. Eesh. What's the default color? <laughs> Just go with the default color. It's going to work. All right, we'll go ahead and grab this thing. Um, Because I do like the shiny one, but this was a couple more cows. It's going to save us a few trips. We'll grab our semi. 
There you are. Uh, was I doing anything with you right this second? No, I was just doing some hay stuff. So we'll go ahead and detach. Oh, horse has got a little bit of manure there. We'll buy something for manure later. Big old uh, front loader. All right, well, we got to go pick up the cows. It's just up here right by our cow farm, which is part, part of the reason why I went ahead and did this. If I had to transport them clear across the map, then I probably would have just paid the 900 bucks. But since it is right here, it will not take us that long to transport them over and save ourselves 900 bucks a pop. We're gonna cheat a little bit. We're just gonna go across the <laughs> across the train tracks right here. All right, let's grab us a bunch of Holsteins. Just fill up the truck. That'll be for fourteen. Uh, if we did that, what three times? It's thirty. It's forty-two. Uh, we could probably do it four times actually, since we're. Since we saved money on the transport fees, we can probably buy a couple extra cows. I'm going to have to pull in there if I can do it somewhere nearby. I'm assuming I... Nope, oh, there we go. Love that our hostings are only worth $975 right now. And there they are. They go, beautiful Hosteens. Look at that. Not a lot of space for them. I mean, I do like that one that's got the open range where you can put a big, huge, giant fence out because they do they do uh, travel a lot further. But, you know, I just didn't really want to mess with having to put the fence up right now. By the way, if you're ever going to do animals, um, I highly recommend, other than the horses, which doesn't really matter because... They don't, they don't breed in the normal sense uh, unless you get that little mod thing. But um, all the other animals, you know, that can breed, you know, chicken, sheeps, uh, sheeps, plural, um, sheep, uh, uh, pigs, and cows, if you want them to breed at the maximum and, you know, be the most productive, then you want to get all of the same type. Now, if you mix types, even though it might look a little cool just to kind of have a little variety in your cow pen, whatever, uh, they don't breed as fast because they only breed with like types, which sounds really weird and bad, but I guess it sort of makes sense in the animal world that I don't know if I get the pigs. I feel like different colored pigs would just who cares cows. I mean, I can get why I like them. I mean, I technically could they breed together like a Brahmin and a, a Holstein or something like that. I would assume they could. But what would that what would happen there? Honestly, I don't know. Um, so, you know, keeping like types together, I suppose, is somewhat realistic. Chickens, I also don't know if that makes as much difference. Um, I really don't know enough about chickens in real life to know if you mix colors and different whatevers that would make any difference or not. But as far as the context of the game, if you're going to have 50 cows, I highly recommend you have all of the same type, at least the ones that are in the same pen. If you're going to have two pens and you're going to put like 40 cows in each pen or something like that, you know, if it, maybe you get the smaller pen uh, that can hold 50 cows and you want to do 40 in each, well then yeah, you can... You can do 40 of one type in one pin and 40 of another type in the other pin. Um, but definitely, if you could put all in the same pin, try your best to keep them all the same. All right, I think we can do a couple more. Might even be able to do a full truckload. Yeah, 
I mean, it'll get us a little bit low, but I think we'll still be all right. We have a couple more things we have to pick up, but I think this will be fine. Could just start with stop with 50, right? Yeah, let's do 50, just so it's a nice even number. See the cows in there. Oh, this thing's double decker. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but. Alright, there we go. 50 cows, right? I guess I miscounted. Nope, oh, 50 Holsteins. Alright, so they're not productive at all because they still need a lot of stuff. So that is going to be our next goal. Let's start getting some of the, the bits and bobs that they need. We'll hold on to this trailer for now because I do want to get some more cows at some point. But uh, once we get a lot of our cows, until we start selling them, which is going to be quite a while, we probably can get rid of the trailer at that point. Um, what was I trying to do? Let's go get the water. It's an easy thing to, to grab that we know they need. We we'll get the straw. That's another pretty easy one. I come on the fill up right there. Probably gonna need the full thing of water for all these cows, to be honest. So we'll let that fill up. Um, while that's going, the other things we're gonna need is, like I said, we need the straw, which is right there. We can use that uh, to put the bedding down, uh, and then we're gonna need um, so cleanliness. That that just happens, you know, as you go, as they start to throw food out, you have to go pick it up. Uh, the water we're about to get, straw we're about to get. We can get both those right now. So the only other thing is the total mixed ration, and. Uh, we have all the components of Total Mix Ration, but you still gotta mix it together. What I probably will do is I will show you how to mix it in the trailer, and then in the like the little wagon thing. But once once I do that, I'm I'm actually gonna come over here and grab this thing, which is where is it? Silos. Yeah, one of these two. These Total Mix Ration um, silos, because these things are way better in my opinion. Because uh, you just dump all the components in there and then it mixes it all ready. Uh, so it's a lot easier to use. I think that's the one I've been using on my other map. Yeah, yeah, I think it's this one, this bigger one over here. I had another one that I grabbed that I didn't like as much and I don't see, I think I un uninstalled it. So yeah. When you're doing cows in bulk, I mean, if you're doing just a small number of cows, like the 50 that we have, the trader will be fine, honestly. The, or the trader with the little truck that drives around would be perfectly fine. But uh, if you want to do like just large bulks, if you get up into the hundreds of cows, they need millions, millions of food. And um, that's just too many trips. Uh, you know, 4 million food at what, 20,000 liters per trip is, I mean, you can do the math. That's a lot of trips. What would that be? 200 trips? It's a lot of trips. So I'd rather have bigger bulk things where I can just load them up in this wagon up here. This uh, this trailer, which holds, what, 60-something thousand? Uh, that cuts my trips, you know, by th by third. I mean, I still got to load up the, the silo, so it's, you know, a little bit more up front work at times, but in the grand scheme of things, I think it's better. Uh, I think their water's on the inside. Oh, it's right there.
Excuse me, coming through. Let's get about halfway. It's not too bad. Actually, I'm more than halfway. Looks like 50 cows uses about maybe 40,000 water. Maybe 50,000, something like that. Technically, you do not have to close the gate because the cows cannot go anywhere. <laughs> they're, just, they're, they're programmed to stay in there. But, you know, for... Why not? We'll close the gate. Uh, we need to grab a tractor for the straw. I think you technically could do it with a semi. I think, but tech. What it looks like, it does have the little uh, attachment on the front of it that's supposed to hook up to the back of the tractor. But I actually think, it, I think it works with a semi. I honestly don't know. Doesn't really matter. We'll use the tractor. That's the right tool. Oh, I forgot we were empty here. Um, which is fine. We'll grab our semi for that at least. I would just do one load or something like that. And I have a little bit of straw left over for the total mixed rations. Which we should probably oh, have plenty. We've got plenty. I will say this, if you ever play this game, um, definitely, I mean, if you have a friend that can play with you, it's a lot more fun. I mean, in theory, you can get twice as much done with two people, but it feels like you can do a lot more than twice as much. Uh, and plus, you know, the, the, obviously having somebody to talk to while you're, while you're playing and, uh, you know, getting their ideas, getting kind of their feedback. It's definitely very, very fun to play with another person. Back to close on that thing. Okay, so it closed on its own. Um, so it's going to take us a little while to get to where, you know, we have got a really good farm going. We're getting there, though. we got a decent farm going, but we obviously still have a lot of stuff that we're leasing. Um, at, to put it in perspective, when I was playing with my, my buddy um, in a multiplayer game, we had everything paid for, like, day two. Because, you know, you know we were just more efficient about doing a lot of stuff. I say everything paid for. We had bought everything, and then from that point forward, we continued to only buy the thing, you know, only get things when we could afford to pay for them up front. But we, again, we were able to get a lot of stuff done in the early game. Plus, I think we started with a little bit more money, come to think of it, which obviously helps. Uh, this thing is in 
side here, I believe. I think we can just back up into here. Yep, there it is. I'm going to be able to use a big chunk of the straw, maybe not all of it. And then we should have just enough time to do some total mixed rations. Times like this, you know, having a having a friend can definitely help because as I'm sitting here doing kind of nothing, uh, you can have somebody else doing doing other stuff. They can, they can start going to get the total mixed rations, getting the cows ready to sooner, you know, stuff like that. We'll get there. Actually, at one point on the multiplayer server that I had, I think we had six people playing at once. Different, you know, uh, me and my buddy that I played the most with, we, we had one farm together that we were working on, just, you know, whatever. But everybody else had their own little farms all over the place. So it was very cool seeing kind of the life of the map as it started to grow with all the people playing. I suppose at some point I should show you guys the multiplayer um, kind of where we're at, where, where we ended up at. I mean, if I'm talking about it now, I should probably show it to, to you guys. You know, I'll show it to you next episode. I'll show it to you guys next episode. So come back next episode. Uh, at the end of next episode, if I remember, hopefully I do, uh, I will show you guys kind of, you know, a, a fairly complete uh, farm because um, we're actually not even playing anymore. We've decided, you know what? We've done everything we want to do. We're done. So it's kind of in a semi-complete state. We've moved on to other games at this point. But it's definitely the, the farm. I mean, obviously, some of this, what we did there is what I'm using as a pattern for what we're doing here. It's not exact, just close. Come on, Stroll. Let's go. There it goes. 47.5. Kind of an odd number for 50 cows, but I guess it works. I'm just going to park this thing over here by the, the little hayloft. And then what do we need now? So we got, we got straw, we got water. Now we need food to make them productive. So for food, as I mentioned the other day, uh, there was a new thing that I had seen on here that I thought was pretty cool. So I normally I use this thing. Um, yeah, this one right here. It's a little bit bigger. It's got a little vacuum cleaner, I call it, on the front because it can suck stuff up. And I may still get it at some point because it's really good for cleaning up the, the silage that the cows spill out. But um, there's also, under animals here, there's a couple trailers here that we saw when we looked in here. And a couple that I've never tried out before, which would be these Andersons. Uh, this one can hold 30,000. That's actually a lot. That does make that, that 4 million a little quicker. Um, so probably what we're going to do is we're probably going to grab one of these. Um, I mean, we might as well go all out and get the, get the Anderson here. The big one. I mean, if I like it well enough, maybe I'll just use this. So then we need to go, uh, go grab that. Uh, before we do that, though, I am going to come over here, grab the semi because I do need to go get a load of silage. And I'll show you one of the easiest ways to do this. 
in my opinion, is just put it all in the same silo and sit there and have it uh, empty out in the right proportions. And I will go through the proportions here in just a moment. We'll get a full load of this, because we're going to need a lot of silage anyway. I mean, if you think about it in a money stand, you know, from a money standpoint, um, just a little over 25% of your, of your total mix rations has to be silage, right? So if you have a million food, for example, 250,000 of that it's got to be just a little bit more, but right about 250,000 of that has got to be silage. And um, the uh, if you think about that in the context of how much uh, money you could have gotten from that, at $900 per thousand liters, you know, you're looking at, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of money that you're, you're costing yourself, about 225, right? Um, that you are costing yourself to make that one million food. That's not even counting the, the hay and the straw, which is not a little bit less, obviously, but still cost something so cows are not especially in bulk big, big groups of cows are not super super cheap but uh definitely uh i don't know I, I enjoy them i think they're kind of fun and you can you know you can sell the milk for a decent amount at times when the prices are high you still probably ultimately lose money quite frankly on doing cows um but Especially, again, if you take into account the fact that silage is worth so much. But I still think it's, it's you know, it's something else to do. If all I was going to do is silage, then we'd be done already, and I would have already quit the, the series, because... Alright, we won. We did silage. I should have just enough time to show you guys this. Oops, if I actually line up properly. I don't know if all the silos hold silage, um, but this one, this this little mod here that I've got can for sure. So I definitely recommend grabbing it if you if you have that option. It's a really good all-around thing that can hold just about everything. Actually, I think it can literally hold everything. Except maybe sugar cane. I don't remember if it can hold sugar cane, actually. Alright, so that's done. Let's get this truck out of the way. We're going to need to pull that other thing up under there. And let's go grab our tractor. We'll grab... Where's our other tractor? This one. It's a little bit faster, so... It'll get over to our, our farmhouse quicker. So there's a couple ways you can do, you know, total mix rations. Uh, one of the ways you can do it is by using just bales. And bales is actually a pretty easy way to do it, but again, it's very slow. Because, you know, each bale is 4,000 liters, uh, and you've got to pick them up, drop them in, and all that kind of stuff. So if you're just doing a few cows, just to have some fun, you know, not really doing anything crazy, then yeah, sure, bales is just fine. Bale up your stuff on the fields, and then um, drop them in the things. And the ratio for bales, uh, depending on how big your total mix ration um, trailer or vehicle, whatever it is. If it's at least uh, at least 16,000 liters would be ideal. If you can get one that's at least 16,000, it's a lot easier. The math is easier. But because each, like I said, each bale is 4,000 and you're going to need four bales to make total mix ration kind of perfectly. And so four bales times 4,000 is 16,000 liters. So you want at least 16,000 liters to make the math work properly. And the, the math for bales is, uh, for total mix ration, I should say, Actually, if we go over here, it might tell us, but I'm going to tell you in an even easier way once I look at this up. Total mix ration. So total mix ration is, oh yeah, so it says right there. Simple. Put it into the mixer wagon, two hay bales, one straw bale, and fill the rest with silage. Makes sense. So I guess if you're a little over 16,000, that, that's fine. 
But also what that math comes down to is two hay bales, one straw bale, and one bale of silage if you're doing bales. Um, so comes out perfect, easy, easy, easy. Uh, you definitely want to do as little silage as possible, even though the silage, uh, this is the silage one in the middle, it can technically go all the way up to hot here. You could technically do two bales of silage, one bale of hay and one bale of straw if you want to do that route. Uh, you could not do more than one bale of straw, really. I mean, barely, maybe, uh, but it's also, as you can see, the arrow here, you, you, the straw is the least. Uh, technically, you can make total mix rations without any straw at all. Silage and hay makes total mix rations, but the straw goes in there to give you a little bit more volume and kind of a little bit more filler uh, and it's really cheap so that's why it's always good to put straw in if you can and the reason you do more hay than silage is because again silage is a bit more expensive a little bit more when well, i say more involved it's a little bit more involved i suppose but i mean at the very least it's worth more so do the most hay that you can then fill the rest with silage and straw and get as much straw as you can because obviously that is um that's the cheapest thing on that list why did i come this way oh because i was coming up the road Lock this out real quick. All right, so the way I do it, if I'm using this little trailer or the vehicle or whichever it is, doesn't matter, is start filling, start with hay. Uh, and I want to get this to 51%, as close to 51% as I possibly can get. So stop filling is the L button over here on my key thing. Obviously, if you're using a keyboard, it's different. Uh, a little bit more. All right, 52, close enough. Um, and then we want to grab uh, straw until we get to 78, 79%, something like that. Uh, let me do a little bit, no, a little bit more than that. There we go, 78, close enough. So that means we're only actually going to be using 22% silage. But right at the very end, total mix ration. Pop. So there you go. So that's perfect. Almost perfect ratios. Uh, if you can see down there, um, I can't show you with the mouse. But if you look at the... As I'm pointing at my screen. Right there. <laughs> um, the straw is almost to that, that up, upper arrow. So it's about as much as straw as you can get. The silage is at the very, very bottom of that left arrow. So it's the minimum silage you can get. And then the rest is, you know, obviously hay. So that's usually how I do it. I mean, you can do it however you want to do it. Like I said, if you just want to get it perfect every single time, then it's obviously by far easier to do um, bales in that context. It's just bales take longer. So I like the bulk operations personally. But uh, then I'll show you kind of using the bale idea. The reason that side that that silo that does total mix rations is so useful because the reason that's so useful and we'll get into it when we actually see it but i'll just explain it real quick is i kind of use the same process as i would for bales but i use trailers so i use a sixty thousand, you know fifty nine thousand liter trailer and so i use two two trailers of hay one trailer of straw and one trailer of silage and it makes my math very easy i mean i could use a little bit less silage a little bit more straw as i've already explained but then we're getting into some like time wasting so to speak it's just a lot easier just to fill them up all the way to full and then then i get four full trailers worth of food out of it which is very very nice but i like this trailer this one right here that we're using is pretty pretty solid uh it definitely does a lot of load and as you can see thirty thousand food barely blipped on the holstein's food um my guess is that's probably about what one tenth maybe one eighth something like that so they're probably going to need at least 250 300 000 food um, so we got a lot of trips, even with this little trailer, as you can see, that would be why I like to use the bigger, bigger, uh, device because it's a lot easier to get a lot more stuff done. All right. Well, we're going to put a cut in there. That's our cows. I mean, even though it's red, they are hundred percent productive. It just hasn't caught up with itself yet. This will show up here in a minute. Once it ticks over, they're hundred percent productive. They'll just run out of this food pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, we're going to start getting slower. We're going to start getting manure, start getting milk, and they're going to start reproducing here very, very soon. Um, but yeah, so there you go. And as I explained before, if you do total mixed rations, you get 100% effectiveness. If you don't want to do the, the, the straw, um, or sorry, if you don't want to do either, the, the you don't want to mix the total mixed ration, you can do either hay or silage. Either one of those will get you to 75%. Uh, if you do both, though, like I said, it, at some point in that mixture, it does become total mixed ration anyway. And if you just want to do grass, technically will still survive. They just won't be very productive. So that's how that works. All right, like I said, we'll go ahead and put a cut in there. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time.
Thank you and goodbye.